will be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Actually, it's a couple scriptures in this particular chapter. Um, we're going to begin reading with verse 5. And it's talking about the apostles at that time in the city of Corinth and how they were in the ministry and there were actually like a, a division because there were those that were kind of following Paul and, and there were some that were following Apostle, Apollos, I'm sorry, Apollos. And, uh, but Paul had to set the record straight <laughs> in terms of, you know, what is it all about? It's not really about me, and it's not really about Apollos, but it's about Jesus. Yeah. And so he, he read, and starting at verse 5, who then is Paul? Mm. And who is Apollos? Mm -hmm. But ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, Apollos watered, mm -hmm. a watered, but God Give it the increase. Amen. Say with me, watered. Watered. Water. And, but God gives the increase. Yeah. But God gives the increase. The next scripture we're going to go to is found in the book of Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, I believe. And here the Apostle Paul is talking about uh, really the union of marriage but he says something very important about water <laughs> praise the Lord so we see here in going to Ephesians mm -hmm. yes Ephesians chapter 5 and we're going to be looking at starting at verse 20. Five. So he says in this reunion between husband and wife, he gives a, a message to the husbands. He says, Husband, love your wives, mm -hmm. even as Christ also loved the church Amen. and gave himself for it, mm. that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Mm. Say with me, the washing of water. The washing, the washing of, of water. water. By the word. By the by word. The word. And then the last scripture I'm going to read to you is found in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. Mm. You're going to go to Revelation chapter 22. Revelation chapter 22. And we're going to be looking at verse 1 of Revelation chapter 2. I mean 22. Revelation 22, verse 1, excuse me. And it reads, and this was John the Revelator. John was caught up. The Bible says he was on the island of Patmos. And there were many things that God was revealing to him. And so on this island, God reveals this to John, the revelator, in verse 1 it says, And he showed me a pure river of life, a river of water of life. <laughs> and he showed me a pure river of water of life. Say with me, water of life. Water of life. Clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God, and of the Lamb. Amen. Our subject this morning, this morning, our subject this morning is about the washing of the Word. Mm -hmm. In this case, as we saw in Ephesians chapter 5, uh, when Paul was talking about how the husbands should love their wives, uh, and then he talked about sanctify, how you would be sanctified. He said the sanctifying of the washing of the word. Mm -hmm. And what I want 
you to know is that it is the word that saves us. Praise the Lord. But Paul is referring to, uh, he's using a metaphor of the word being like water. Mm -hmm. I want you to know also that it is the word that saves us. Uh, it is not water, that literal water, the physical water that saves us. Because you see, there are some people that believe that water baptism will save you. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank God for water baptism. Praise water baptism is, um, you, we do that in order to fulfill all righteousness. That's what the word of God says. Praise the Lord. And we are baptized in water, the physical water, mm -hmm. to show what has taken place in our hearts. Praise the Lord. And uh, praise the Lord. And what took place in our hearts is that we received the word, the word. as the water <laughs> This is a spiritual water. Now, I want to make sure we understand. We're Praise talking about the Lord. word being the spiritual water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the water baptism, thank God, is a symbol. The physical water is a symbol of what has taken place in our heart spiritually. Praise the Lord. I want you to know that during these times, uh, it's important for us to know that, you know, you know, we think about uh, what's going on, that, right? You know, the, the virus and... And the pandemic and, and all that. Mm -hmm. And one of the main things that they, they tell you to do is what? Wash, Wash your hands. Hand. Come on now. And they said that's one of the best things you can do is get some soap and water and wash your hands. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the pan pandemic, in the midst of all that's going on, the virus and all that, you can wash your hands. Uh huh. But I want you to know something that's even greater than washing your hands. My Lord. And that is the washing of the word of God. Mm -hmm. All right. Receiving the power of the word of God. Praise the Lord. But one day we were lost in our sin. Yes. We didn't know what to do. We were lost. We were trying to find a way, and we thought we had it together mm -hmm. because the Bible says there's a way that seemeth See, right to right. man, yeah. but the end of all right. are the ways of death. Yeah. We thought we had it together, but something was missing in our heart. My Lord, my Lord. Our minds were blinded, as the Bible tells us in, in, in First Thessalonians. I mean, First uh, First Corinthians chapter four. It says that our minds were blinded. Our eyes could not see the truth. My Lord. But one day we heard the word of the God. The word of God. Yeah. Jesus came the word to of us. God. He knocked on our door. Well, well, and he answered the see. door. And we said, I am, I am tired. I am weary. But now I want to accept the truth. It's time for me to accept Jesus. Praise the Lord. And praise God. The Thank word. You, Jesus. In the midst of this situation that we're going through, the, yeah. the pandemic and the COVID-19 and all this, and you know, and I, you know, the, the statistics. I choose not to even watch those statistics. My Lord. I mean, you see the numbers. That, you know, instead of them, you, you're hoping that they'll start going down. Yes. Yeah. But the numbers keep going up and up and up. My Lord. I was talking to my wife about that the other day. You know, we, we saw a, a certain number, and that's it. I'm not going to keep looking at it. My Lord. Because I believe the Bible says, so then what? Faith coming by hearing, hearing and hearing by the word of God. The word of God. I don't want to keep hearing those things that are not really ministering to my spirit. I know. I want to hear what God said, the Lord thy God. Amen. That we serve an almighty God. Amen. We serve a God that says, the Bible says in Genesis 1, 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Yes. That's the type of God that we serve. Yeah. And praise God, the Bible says that the Spirit of the Thank Lord you. moved upon the water. Yes, yes. Amen. You see, the Word goes with the water. My Lord. The cleansing of the Word of God. My Lord. That will bring you out of darkness. That will make you a new creation. Yeah. The Bible says, Watch therefore, it. if any man be in Christ, he is a new <laughs> creature. New. Old things are passed yes. away. We yes. all yes. things are become new. Amen. We even say praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. We are a new creation in Jesus Christ. Yes. We've been redeemed from the curse of the law. Thank God. Thank yes. you, Lord. We have been cleansed by the word of God. 
yes, cleansed yes. by the blood as well. Praise the Lord. The word of God came to us. The washing of the word Amen. came to us. The water, this water is greater than just washing your hands. Yes. Praise that's the Lord. right. It's greater, greater than right. just taking the soap Amen. and all that. To, you know, that's good. Amen. But the greatest Amen. thing that can really keep you more than anything else is the washing of the word of Amen. God. Amen. That's what takes place on the inside of you. Praise the Lord. Amen. What happened inside of me, praise the Lord, praise is I've got a new heart. Yes. Isaiah said, God will take out that fleshy heart, that old stony heart, stony and he heart. will create in you a new heart, praise yes. the Lord. Yes. That's the heart that, I, that we got, praise the Lord, when we see Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. For the Bible says, for the word of God is quick. Yes. That means that the word of God is alive. And powerful, powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, wow. and is a designer of thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes. That's God the word. knew That's the word. our intents. He knew that although we thought we had it all together, we can do our own thing and all that, He knew that because He created you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Praise the Lord, He created you from the beginning. So although you were in darkness, there was something in you My trying Lord. to find the truth. My Lord. And praise the Lord, you cried out to receive Thank the you, word Jesus. of God, the washing of the word, Thank the word you, that Lord. cleanses you, the word that makes you powerful, the word that, that empowers you. Praise the Lord, it happened. Thank you, Lord. So we see the word as salvation. Mm -hmm. The word, you know, Paul said, I planted it. And Apollo said, I water it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. That was the word. That's the word of God reaching out to the lost. Praise the Lord. The word of God. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, not but have everlasting Ever life. Amen. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Same. Praise the Lord. That is the cleansing of the word, the washing of the word that came to save us. And praise the Lord, but Paul said, I plant the seed. Now that's the word. And then one water, Apollo watered the word. The word goes with the water, you see. The word, the water brings forth the power of the, of the word. Yeah. That's why Paul said later in, in Ephesians chapter 5, he said, the washing of the word. Because he knew that when the word is planted, it needs to be watered. Praise Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We have to have... And you know the watering of the word, praise the Lord, meaning that your when you when you hear the word of God, it has to be mixed with faith. Yes. Praise the Lord. That's what the watering of the word is. Praise that the, the word of God is mixed with faith. Because Paul talked about that. So I, that's what he's talking about. The, the word and the watering of the word. The word is planted. Praise the Lord. And the word has to be watered. Right. If you right. believe God's word, then start confessing the word of God. Start standing on the Amen. word of God. Amen. Start speaking the word yeah. of God. So then faith yeah. coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yeah. Don't let the devil tell you that you are defeated. Don't let the devil will tell you that you will not make it. The devil is a liar. Yeah. I stand on the word of God. Word of God. And therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus which walk not after the faith but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free, free. from the law of sin and death. And death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of life that's the word of God being yes, mixed with yes. life. Mm -hmm. The spirit of life is in you. Yes. Yes. God came to redeem you and, and, and make you whole. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Again, Jesus. praise the Lord, the washing of the word. Mm -hmm. Once you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yes. Yes. praise the Lord, the, work, the washing of the word came into your life to make you a new creation. Yes. But it doesn't stop there. Hallelujah. Thank God it doesn't stop there because he continues to cleanse us by the word. Yes, thank He you continues Lord. to build us up by the word. Yes. And you know what? Praise the Lord. He begins to renew your mind. Yes. Amen. God, put it this way. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, not I, but the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith for the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. We have to be crucified with Christ. Yes. Put ourselves on the altar. Yeah. My selfish ways, 
That when I see things have to be put aside, it is not my will, but it's thine will. Yeah. And so Amen. I cling to God's word. Amen. I say, God, I'm going to sacrifice myself for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, what? That you present your bodies a living sacrifice, sacrifice. holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed in the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, good. acceptable, and perfect will of God. We can know God's will if we, did, if we sacrifice ourselves. Hallelujah. If we deny ourselves well, and allow the washing of the word to take control in our lives. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. We have to step aside. Hallelujah. We step aside as John said, I must decrease mm -hmm. that he may increase. increase. Amen. The more Jesus increase in your life, who is the word, Jesus is the Amen. word, the beginning was the word, Amen. and the word was with God, and the word was God. Uh, yeah. Amen. The more Jesus increase in your life, the more you become more like him. Yeah, if you want to be like Jesus, let him increase in your life. Amen. If you want to have joy like Jesus, let him increase in your Amen. life. If you want to have victory in your life, the way Jesus had victory, yeah. let Jesus increase in your life. Yeah. You can do it through him because all things are possible through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. We don't have to be ashamed of the word of God. That's right. For the word of God is powerful. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Paul said, I am not ashamed. Of yeah, the gospel yeah. of Christ. Yeah. For it is the power of God and salvation. God. Yeah. Yeah. To everyone that believes it, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the book. Hallelujah. Do you love them this morning? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Do you love them this morning? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 Are you are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ? Because he's oh. worthy. He's worthy of all our praises. Yeah. Do you love Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So then what happens is the word, the washing of the word, renews your mind. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. The washing of the word empowers you. Yeah. The washing of the word strengthens you. Yeah. And I love the way, uh, praise the Lord, I believe it was David that wrote the first division of Psalm. He said, and he shall, refer to the man that is blessed, and he shall be like a tree yeah. planted by the rivers of water Amen. that bringeth forth his yeah. fruit in his season. His mm -hmm. leaf also shall yeah. not wither, mm -hmm. and whatsoever he whatsoever doeth he shall, he prosper. shall prosper. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Of water. The washing of the word, the yes. word which increase in power as you water the word. See, the word has to be watered. The word is the seed that is planted in the ground, that's been planted in your heart. But you want that word to be effective, powerful in your life, you have to water the word of God in your life. Yes. Which means having the word of God mixed with faith. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to stand in faith on what the word of God says. Paul put it this way, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, yes. the evidence of things not seen, Come on yes. Lord. but without faith it is impossible to please it's Him. So yes. It is impossible to please God. Yes. Yes. God only answers to your faith. He wants to hear what you have to say in faith. Yes. Yes. That's what God is looking for, that you will stand in faith. Yes. Now God is a, is a merciful God too. I want to make sure that's clear. He's a merciful God. Yes. But He wants us to have faith. He wants us to stand on his word. And, you know, whether you feel like it or you don't feel yeah, like it. Come on, come whether on. you understand it or you or don't understand it. No. Whether it makes sense to you or it does not make sense to you. That's not what faith is. Faith is saying, I believe it, although I, I don't God's understand word. it. I believe it if it doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Only way, you know why I believe it? I don't believe it because it makes sense to me. I don't believe it because it has to, you know, I have the understanding. I don't believe it because it makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah. But I believe it because God said it. Yeah. I believe it because God said it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I need to do. Because I know whatever God says, no man can change it. When God says something, all things are possible. Yeah. He said, let there be light, and there was light. Yeah. That's what God does. Yeah. That's the kind of God that we serve. Don't you love him this morning? Yeah. Don't you love him this morning? Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to his name. 
revolutionizing your life, revolutionizing your life and, and changing your mind and, and, and making you powerful and all that, but it keeps us moving on. Amen. And so I see, praise the Lord, that God will not let, give up on you. Right. Jesus said, I will be with you always. Always. Even in the of the yeah. world. Yeah. He will not give up on you. Praise Before Lord. he ascended unto the Father, he said, it is expedient that I go unto the Father. Yeah. He said, it is expedient. I mean, in other words, it is absolutely necessary yeah. that I go unto the yeah. Father. Because if I don't go, the Holy Spirit shall not come. Amen. But I'm so glad that yeah. Jesus went to heaven. Because he sent back the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. That was the only way that the Holy Ghost could come. Yeah. That he had to go yeah. to the yeah. Father. Yeah. He said it's expedient that I go unto the Father. Not that Lord. the Comforter might come. come. Yeah. That the Comforter yeah. will come, praise the Lord. And so he came. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. 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 So that's why you have to give to the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost move in your life. Let the Holy Ghost cleanse your life. Let the Holy Ghost empower your life. Let the Holy Ghost direct you and lead you into all truth. Because he will. He will. He will. He will lead you into all, lead you into all truth. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. But I'm so glad that he'll stay with me. He doesn't Amen. give up on me. Oh, God, if it was up to us, we'll give up on each other. But God doesn't God give up on nobody. We can just continue to move on through Jesus. Yes. Because the Bible says the steps of a good man yes. are ordered by the Lord. Lord. And he delighted in his way. Yes. Don't he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. God is always out there to uphold you with his hand. He's not going to give up on you because he knows you can make it. Because if you can make it, you make it because of the Holy Spirit. You make it because you stand on God's yeah, word. Yeah. You make it because you have faith. You can do it through Jesus Christ. If you believe in say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And glory to God. Glory. As we continue to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. One day, One we're going to be in glory with Jesus. And even in glory, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, there is a river of life that oh, is yeah. from yeah. the throne of God. Yes, it is. Even in heaven, the word of God will continue to flow. Yeah. The river of life in heaven, Jesus Christ. I praise the Lord. And then praise the Lord. The Bible says there will be the tree of life. Yeah. I praise the Lord. And the word of God, the washing of the water will be there too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that we can stand on God's word. Amen. I'm so glad that we have the washing of the word. Yeah. In the midst of this pandemic, we can wash our hands all we want to, and we should do that. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. Wash your hands and all that. But I'm telling you, the greatest washing, yeah. the greatest cleansing of all, yeah. is the word of God. Yeah. It is the word of God. It's 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 the word of God. Jesus Christ, yeah. the Lord is a man of war. Yeah. He's not a 